Today is Wednesday, April 29th, and we're looking at a chart of the S&P E-mini contract, and I was watching this this morning, it's saying uh, in the pre-market, overnight was kind of flat all night, it made this little uptrend here, and um, <clears throat> Hit this high volume note over here um, from Tuesday's pre-market and head it back south. Found support off of this uh, old high here from uh, Tuesday's trading right here, right there. Found support there and proceeded up in pre-market trading today in rather convincing fashion. So I was watching this and um, <clears throat> you note, uh, let me blow this up a little bit. So you'll note here we had a big spike up and then uh, it looked like the uh, bears were going to rest control of this. This candle opened, turned red, bears hopped on. Uh, uh, Bold said, nah, you're not going to do it. They took control and left these these uh, <clears throat> bears hanging here. So I noticed that on my chart. And um, one thing I try to look out, look for is these inflection areas here of indecision. So put in a um, <clears throat> shooting star up here. And I took my fibs and drew a fib from that top down to that bottom. Boom, right there is a 50% mark. Here's your 38 or your 618. Uh, so this area is right in between. So I, uh, let me get rid of this. I put in a, and I had I had two old tops. So this line right here was the old top from uh, when was that uh, Tuesday pre-market, and then we had uh, this old top from last night. So I had two lines there. So I didn't want to buy on this top line because it wasn't a far enough retracement. So I like the second line better to correlate with this top. So I had an order, watching this come down, I had an order here at 2904.50. I got filled. I didn't have to take much heat. Uh, we had uh, the VWAP pointing up, the uh, 34 EMA and the 20 simple moving average all pointing up. Price came down into that, down into this line, down into this area, and boom, started heading back up. I took my first contract off at 10 points right here at this yellow arrow at uh, 29.14.50 and then I proceeded to move my stop on my runner below this candle here. Now you can see what happened here. Uh, they couldn't leave me alone. They came down, got my stop, boom, price went back up and it just went up all morning and all afternoon after that and it just made me sick to my stomach um, so what I would have done had I not gotten stopped out of this had I just kept that stop to break even it, they would never have gotten me uh, probably moved it up too soon but anyway what I would have done if I could have if I would have had that runner I would have just trailed my stop up and I would have kept putting it stops in under these these lows here. See that yellow line? I would have put a stop in just under that. Uh, moved up, formed this low. I would have moved my stop up to, to there. And then I would have had a stop under this red candle here somewhere under that low and would have got taken out um, on this candle right here at uh, 130. So, oh God, this makes me sick think of this my runner would have been worth had I hung on to it 
would have been worth approximately uh, 32 points, let's call it, round it off to 32, 32 and change. That's $1,600 on a runner. But I can't complain. I mean, I got uh, I got that first 10 points, $500, but it would have been nice to have that runner. But uh, just move that stop up too too quick. I guess I should have left it at uh, break even. Would have been would have been okay. So anyway, that was uh, the only trade I took today. Uh, you can see that that pulled back here. What was the fib on that? On this pullback here. If we come to that low, damn. Yeah, just right about 50%. Wow. And it uh, pretty much lined up with this early morning high here, this 9 o'clock high. You had this high here come over, provided support. The other thing I wanted to show you, um, where I got long here, the other, the other thing I liked about it, so 29.0450 is where I got long. It was right here. If I look at the this bigger uh, volume profile, it lined up this low here, lined up perfectly with this low volume area. Unbelievable. But anyway, that's what I did today. And uh, crude oil, let's take a look at that. Uh, okay, so this is the one hour chart of crude oil. We put in this double low here, uh, or double bottom. And uh, crude came up today. And it hit just shy of that, uh, that POC, the high volume node. It got pushed down. Now it's starting back up again. So uh, maybe it can break out of this area, but I'm kind of thinking it's got some filling in here to do yet on this profile before it does. But I'll be watching it. Anyway, catch you later.